solicit for uh, the existence of the you know, no, long-term existence of the uh, Tuscan Urban Legacy at the site. How many have seen this? How many have seen this? This is our fourth attempt to make this work. You can go online and fill out what's called a commit to purchase. You will not get the tag because the tag has not been manufactured yet. Unfortunately, it was approved in August. So now here we are in March, we've gotten until July 31st to get 1,000 tags throughout the state, not just Macon County, now throughout the state. And when you take a look at this, if you look in your program and you look at the program that has a picture of Gene Carter, you'll see that that's a likeness of him on the tag. It's a personalized tag, and the good thing about it, the state's very generous about this. 80% of the monies that you pay for this tag come back to the site at Mocha Field. Right. Okay, so get out there. I need 1,000 tags. Go online. Tell everybody about it all over the state. I need your help. We've got a short period of time to do this. Fill out that permit to purchase. Once you get 1,000 tags, they'll start to manufacture it, and it won't go away for five years. Okay? Right. Thank you. Differ with you, Colonel, and it'll never go away. Okay? Let's let's um, let's uh, uh, bring forth um, Colonel Vascon Harris, who is uh, the um, uh, representative of the Friends of the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site Board, and he give us these closing remarks, and then we will have the benediction uh, right after that. Dr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. O'Neill. Um, is there anyone else in the audience who hasn't been introduced? I asked you to stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. This is going to be short. <laughs> just, just in time for you to have lunch. Um, what I'd like to say is that the Tuskegee Airmen story is seated with ironic things. First of all, they were told that they didn't have the capacity to fly. Didn't have the capacity. The system told them that. And yet, a first lady came to visit Tuskegee, and that's ironic in itself. What was she doing? She was building one-room schoolhouses to put in Alabama. And the system told her that they were incapable of knowing how to fly. And yet she flew with Chief Anderson and enjoyed it, came back safely. So these are the ironic things that follow the history of the Tuskegee Air. And they have overcome all of them. And the legacy that they leave will live on. Perpetuity by virtue of Alabama. There will be a quarter issued this year which will have a P-51 and dedicated to the Tuskegee Airmen. So without further ado, I bring you a commercial message. And that is, the Friends of the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site is a 501c um, organization we accept donations. We live on donations. And our donations are de dedicated to the National Tuskegee Historic Site. We can't do anything else. That's by law, by congressional law. So these, these little envelopes, I hope you've all seen them. And I, I hope that maybe at some time, you will leave them with a contribution 
the friends of the Tuskegee Airmen. And uh, without anything else to say, congratulations, Tuskegee Airmen. We are delighted that you brought a wonderful, clear day, visibility on the <laughs> Dr. Harris, a level round of applause. Let me just say one thing about the envelopes. They're very important to us. So if you don't have a donation today, please take the envelope with you and to mail it back in to the site. Also online. Thank you very much. 